Welcome back, my name is Zach Sopak, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your text to go behind your subject like I'm doing right now. Having a subject go in front of your text in your videos is a relatively simple technique, but it is pretty effective for getting people to stop the scroll or to just stand out and have more visual interest in your videos. It's something that I've been doing quite a bit lately, and it's starting to feel a little bit like kind of a signature move, like, I don't know, a wrestler would use like the Stone Cold Stunner or something like that. In order to pull off this effect, the first thing that you need is your video clip. I prefer to have something that's stable and still on a tripod. A shot like this is a good example. The other thing you'll want is a clearly defined subject. Oftentimes I like to just use people mostly myself whenever I'm on video. Having that clear subject will make it easier to identify what part of your frame is going to be going in front of your text. Once you have your video clip selected, bring that into your video editing software of choice. I'm using Final Cut Pro for this because it's the video editing software that I use all the time and it makes this particular effect extremely easy to pull off. You can do this in other softwares like DaVinci Resolve, CapCut. I'm sure it's a lot easier than if you were trying to do it in Premiere Pro. If you know, you know. Once you have that video clip on your project timeline, go ahead and duplicate it and put it right on top of the original clip. These two clips are basically going to be like the two pieces of bread on your text sandwich. With your top clip selected, find a single frame where your subject is going to be most clearly visible. Go to the effects panel and select magnetic mask and drag that onto your top clip. Then select the eyedropper tool. This is what you're gonna use to then go to your video clip and select out your subject from the frame. If your first click doesn't get all of your subject, then you can just click more to add more to your selection. And if you select too much of your subject, you can hit that minus button and that's going to then allow you to deselect certain areas that you don't want to have included in this mask. Once you have finished your selection, go over to the button that says analyze and click on that. What this is going to do is take your selection of your subject and final cut is going to go from the front of the clip all the way to the back of the clip and it's going to make sure that it is following your subject for the duration of that entire clip. Once that clip has finished analyzing we are now ready for the beautiful middle section like the little stuffing of the Oreo the, the middle of the sandwich, <laughs> it's ready for our text layer. So go ahead and grab a text layer and put it in between those two video clips. From here, choose whatever font, colors, text effects that you wanna use for your video. And once you've put all of that together, you have now got a video where your selected subject is obscuring the text in your video. But yeah, this is a really cool and simple effect that I have been using and abusing and I will continue to do so because it just brings me <laughs> joy, I guess, to not be able to fully see the text in my videos. I don't know. It's just really cool to have that visual interest in the video. And uh, yeah, it's just something that I, I really enjoy. So uh, I'm curious to know if you knew about this already or what kind of things that you're using this type of effect on, maybe different types of projects, maybe some of your own video creation. I'd be curious to know what you're using it on down in the comments below. And while you're down there, if you got some value out of this video, why don't you go ahead and add some value right back to it by just hitting that like button. Thanks for watching. And until the next time, my name is Zach Sopak and I will see you in the next video. Peace.